What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and we have talked a lot about Star Wars The High Republic and the writers involved in it. Specifically, a few of the writers that have decided to go out there and have a documented history of distaste for some of their customers, specifically white men. And one in particular, Justina Ireland has decided to play the victim in all this over and over again, even though she is guilty of the very thing she accuses others of. And now she has decided to block what is likely thousands of Star Wars fans on Twitter because she's tired of the criticism. And of course, I'm one of those people. Now, I don't think I'll ever figure out who she actually ran a blockchain on. Was it me, who's made several videos about her, even though I've never interacted with her on Twitter? Was it maybe Anna, that Star Wars girl, who's made a few videos, put out a few tweets concerning Justina Ireland? Or maybe even Itchy Baka, who runs Disney Star Wars is Dumb, who has documented so many of her past tweets and and her hatred for certain segments of the Star Wars fandom. I don't know. But what I do know is that so many people started getting alerted to this the other day. This is Tugs who puts out, Raise your hand if you're blocked by Justina Ireland despite never having interacted with her. And there's like over 250 replies to this tweet of people who are blocked by Justina Ireland who have never interacted with her. Which made everybody realize she has run a blockchain of some sorts. And in fact... She went ahead and admitted that she did just that in her attempt to play victim. Now, before we read this, let's just keep in mind some of the criticisms that we have had of Justina Ireland before. Um, Justina Ireland, who just in 2020, this is called Justina Ireland really hates white people, just in 2020, these are some of the tweets that she had insulting white people, usually white men. And as you can scroll through, you can see that she ha obviously has a bone to pick with white people. She doesn't like white people for some reason. I don't know why, but she continues to tweet about it. I'm not sure why she has such an obsession with white people and trying to drag them down. But it is Justina Ireland who is the one who is focused on race, specifically focused on white people. In the first one of 2021, I guess mediocre white men are still going to be on here bragging about their mediocrity as though it's a hilarious anecdote instead of pure assholery. So thanks for establishing that baseline early, 2021. Uh, you know, so that that's how she started 2021 the same way that she continued on through all of 2020. Again, an author at Lucasfilm who's writing Star Wars The High Republic books. And in fact, she said when she started receiving criticism about the politics, about the agenda that she is pushing, which is documented in several videos where she herself has said that she wants to change history. She wants to give people a different perspective on history that doesn't come from a white man. She says this. The problem is, if you don't like my politics and my beliefs and my moral compass, you aren't going to like my books, so let's go ahead and save everyone some time. Basically saying, if you don't like it, then don't buy it. Now, what happened after all these statements occurred? Well, she puts out a tweet like this that I couldn't find anywhere. I had to take this screenshot of it. Uh, I see some of you have just discovered there's a black woman writing Star Wars. You know what's great about being verified? Your vitriol never gets past my filters. Have fun. Stay mad. Well, in fact, Justina, and you know this, you are intentionally skewing it. You are playing the victim through this entire thing. People don't have a problem that a black woman is writing Star Wars. Nobody gives a shit about your genitals. Nobody gives a shit about your race. What we care about is when you alienate other fans, when you push your agenda in books that is quite obviously going to push other fans away as you yourself have admitted. That is the problem. That is why you are receiving criticism out there. That's why so many people may be going to your Twitter. I've never encouraged that, and I never would encourage that. I encourage all of you, if you have to, if you want to trash talk Justine Ireland, if you want to bash her, please do it in my comments section. That's good for engagement and lets you say exactly what you want. But no, she decides to play victim, and she herself admitted that she ran a blockchain. Here it is. Hi friends, a few of you have emailed to mention that my mentions have become a war zone, so I've run a chain block to hopefully cut down on some of the noise. I'm really sorry to anyone who has come here just to talk Star Wars and ended up in Twitter warfare. Well, if, if they came to your profile to talk Star Wars, maybe they're upset that they're inundated with a flood of political bullshit because that's what you tweet about, race baiting bullshit. Uh, she also says also why I usually don't block folks because I don't care. 
I realize that it sucks to log in and get randomly attacked, so you do care. Got it. I hope this makes my corner of Twitter a little better for people who just want to have a good time and not argue their humanity in a bunch of hearts. This flies in the face of what she has said before, of all the vitriol she has spewed against white people when she says that if you don't like my politics, you're not going to like what I write, so don't even buy it, don't even bother. I wonder if Lucasfilm knows that she's saying those things, that she is encouraging people not to buy their product. And it wasn't long until so many people started coming to her defense, including this <laughs> this account right here, I gotta laugh, and uh, shout out to Open Airlock Policy, he is the one who first showed me this tweet, shout out to Tim, subscribe to his channel, I am actually gonna leave a link to Open Airlock Policy in the description below, Star Wars channel does some really thoughtful coverage of Star Wars, especially the expanded universe, so shout out to Tim from Open Airlock Policy, but you can see this account, the High Republic Archives, created in 2020, uh, an account dedicated to chronicling everything about the High Republic era, so uh, celebrating everything, not criticizing anything about the High Republic era is what they are for. Puts out this statement. Justina Ireland is a fantastic creator and advocate. She does not deserve the harassment she is receiving for speaking out against institutional racism. We should fully believe that black, or we fully believe that black creators and voices should be uplifted. Well, I personally think that black voices should be on the same exact level as every other voice. They shouldn't be lifted any higher. They should be equal, shockingly enough. Uh, not this equity bullshit that everyone's been pushing. Equal, and they are equal. Star Wars is for everyone except bigots. Oh, there you go, bigot. Another word. So the thing is, you determine what you think a bigot is and you slap that label on people whether they are or not. And that is something common we see with these woke SJWs all throughout entertainment. They try to label people as something regardless if it means that word or not. Whether it's transphobe, whether it's racist, whether it's Nazi, these words no longer have any meaning because they're being applied to anyone that they disagree with. This tweet was not an invitation for you to reply and try to debate us on this if you jump into the mentions just trying to justify the harassment. So if you come here to have a conversation, your reply is getting hidden and you're getting blocked. Simple as that. And you have a lot of familiar faces in here and also a lot of hidden tweets. Look at all these tweets that are getting hidden by the High Republic archives. Anytime that anyone... <laughs> anytime that anyone is trying to uh, argue with them. They hide the reply and then they block them because they're not interested in conversation. They just want to stand their hero, Justina Ireland. They want a white knight for Justina. And it's just all so laughable. It, it really is laughable. And that's just where we're at right now. Blocking thousands of Star Wars fans because you can't handle the criticism. Now, I get it. Um, there are people that are going to come on you on Twitter and uh, they're just going to be there to incite. They're just going to be in there to try to drive you fucking nuts. I get that. I understand that. I don't personally block people. I let them continue to scream into the wind and I don't mute them either because I like to see them because I, I like it that they are so mad that I'm speaking truth about something they don't want to hear. But for Justina Ireland, she decided to just mass block everyone, ran a huge blockchain on anyone who may criticize, challenge, or disagree with her. It's not because you're a black woman, Justina, and everyone understands that. The reason you're getting pushback is because you admittedly have said that you push your agenda, and if you don't like your politics, you don't like the fact that she goes out there and berates white people, berates white men, if you don't like the fact that she's going to try to retell history, then don't buy my book. You're not going to like it. That is the problem and will remain the problem until Lucasfilm changes going forward. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. I'll talk to you guys later.